this room is getting transformed and so I'm going to be making this wall into a gallery wall. A couple of weeks ago, I did this project. This is a miniature <laughs> living room with mini furniture in it. Video is up if you wanna see it. Um, but it really made me think about this wall in general. This wall is big, it's mighty, it has a lot of potential. Ultimately, what I'm doing right now with the floor and with other things is I'm turning this into a dining room. And so I think that having a wall covered in art would be a lovely addition to a dining room. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God, hello. Hello, hello. So the first thing I need to do is go find the art, collect it, put it all together, see what I'm dealing with, find frames, <laughs> and then, um, then we're gonna do it. It's gonna be beautiful. But first, let me do a little word from our sponsor, Book of the Month. Book of the Month is an online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new, emerging, and popular authors and help readers find books that they will love. How it works is simple. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and picks some that they think you're gonna love. And then you go through the list of beautifully curated books and choose one to read. Best of all, they have a great skip policy. So if for whatever reason you wanna skip a month, you totally can. This month, they've sent me The Fortunes of Jaded Women by Carolyn Huyen and Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen. Use my link and my code in the description to check them out. And now it is time to look for some art and some frames. Okay, I have done some digging. I've done some searching um, for art. And what a lovely mission. <laughs> Just grabbing art. Um, I have collected a lot of print, usually small, usually postcards, but sometimes medium-sized art while traveling. And it was honestly sort of emotional going through all of the different postcards and things and remembering where I got them, why I bought them. Some of them I don't remember, which is interesting because I'm like, wow, 20 year old Ariel thought this was beautiful and she bought it because she thought it was so pretty and I, 27 year old Ariel doesn't remember it. Um, but a lot of them, most of them, I'm like, I remember I was in Paris. This was the first time I went to England. This was the first time, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of postcards. And these are basically going to act like little space fillers around the bigger art. Cause I think that that makes sense to kind of figure out where the bigger art goes and then fill in with like cute little things like this in between those big pieces. So then I have these two that are also bigger. So this I got the first time I went to Paris, like, eight years ago and it's a little worse for wear but pretty good considering like it survived so many moves and I brought it back home in a backpack kind of thing um but then I also have this awesome horse um painting 
that is from a Nova Scotian artist. I found it somewhere and I thought this is so pretty. So I picked that up. Um, so these are kind of the medium sized pieces. The largest piece that I know for sure I want to put over there is this. Oh. So this is a print that um, I did in collaboration with my friend and incredible illustrator Brenna Thumler, who in, has illustrated some of my favorite graphic novels ever. We did this print together. Um, it exists as a t-shirt. So first basically I said to her like, I'd love to do a t-shirt design with you for my line. I'm thinking about books um, and there are still some of those t-shirts available if you're interested. Um, and once she gave me the art, it was so beautiful that I was like, we have to sell this as a print as well. Like, I love that it's wearable art on a t-shirt, but I think it also should be hangable art. Um, so this is so beautiful. I'm excited to get this framed. Um, yeah, this is just gorgeous. So that's all of the art that I have that isn't framed. Then I, I have also collected though, some frames that I have. So I, I think we have a really good material base here, right? We have stuff um, that is very small, some medium sized stuff, and some really big pieces. So all together, I think it's gonna create a dynamic wall, which I'm very excited about. Um, so next I have to, uh, <laughs> next I have to do the wainscoting. So I got it in my head that this room could use some wainscoting. I just think it will elevate the room to the next level and make it look that much prettier and fancier and interesting. So I um, have had a lot of success doing board and batten in the upstairs guest room, in the upstairs hallway. And so I feel like these kind of simple ways of adding trim two walls to make them feel more elegant, more thoughtful. Um, they really work. And so I want to do it in this room. So unfortunately that means I have to do it. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm hot, but I've got to do it. So it will be worth it, I believe. I think it's going to be a little finicky at the beginning because I've never done it before and I'm doing it on my own. But I think ultimately it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to do that now. And then once that is done and finished and painted and dried, we can put up the art. Hello everyone. I'm feeling extremely happy right now. Things have gone well for me <laughs> on my errands. Um, you know, when you go out for errands and just one place after another place doesn't have the thing you need or can't accomplish the task you want to do. But then you have those rare, rare days where every shop you go to actually has the thing you wanted. That happened today and I'm feeling very, very good about it. So first off, I got the trim that I want for the wainscoting. So that's a big win. That's definitely a big win. I also got, oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Whoa. I got this jig, which is exactly what I thought the solution might be for this, for cutting this stuff. Um, I think this will work out well. This will help me cut 45 degree angles straight and consistently. Um, and it's kind of cute, so that's great. But the other thing that I'm sure you can see is that I got a bunch of frames. I got some really unique ones like this. Um, which is wonderful because, you know, you want character when you put together a gallery wall. But then I also got some pretty straightforward ones, just like a nice little wooden square. And I was so excited at this thrift store when I went in there because obviously I could have gone to Michael's or gone to a nice framing store and bought a bunch of frames, but frames are so expensive. Not wrongfully so, rightfully so, they're expensive. But when you're trying to do a big project like this, I'm not just framing one important artwork, it can really add up. So I got all of these frames 
plus these really cute bowls. I couldn't help myself. They were $3. <laughs> I got all of this for $18. $18. They were literally having a art and frames 50% off sale. It, it couldn't have been more perfect. The next step is to do the wainscoting. And so that's what I'm going to do now. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> Hopefully it goes great. I would love if it's not going to be long enough, is it? Oh, that would have been so convenient. <laughs> um, okay. So I have saved many images on Pinterest of what this looks like. And what I've noticed is that they all have one piece that goes the length and then some squares that go down and some squares that go up. So there were two blogs in particular that I found really useful um, and I will try it and I'll link them down below, but they recommended building a little piece or just cutting a little piece of wood that is the space that you want um, so that you can use it as a really easy guide to make all of the spaces even. Great idea. So I have cut this, it's seven inches, um, and that's gonna be our guide. <laughs> Hello everyone. So it's the next day and yesterday we made very good progress. I was up very late, 1 a.m. working on this room and in the late night, I forgot to put my microphone to charge. So that's why I'm recording my audio onto my phone. Very good progress is being made. I stained the floor last night, which was a song and dance. That will be in the video for this whole room drama ensued <laughs> but the exciting part for this video is that with the help of my mom uh we did the wainscoting it was a two-person job so thankfully my mom came and helped me she held stuff while i positioned it um she held it while i sawed all of these pieces so i cut everything which is really cool because i've never cut stuff like in this way before and my jig worked perfectly and i used a nail gun by myself <laughs> my dad always uses the nail gun but now i have another skill unlocked i know how to nail gun because she's the best my mom helped me out by sanding all of the spackle so we are so close to finishing the the wall prep it is now time to paint it so i'm gonna paint the wall and then as it's drying, I'm going to be putting together the frames, the art into the frames, and then it will be time to start putting stuff in. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to 
to my side yard. <laughs> so I've just finished painting the wainscoting and it's now drying the second coat. So now it's time to do the thing and to make the gallery wall. And there's no room <laughs> to do it in my house. I remember so many years ago, my friend Charlie Marie, who has a great YouTube channel, she made a video on how to make a gallery wall. And I haven't rewatched it in probably like five years, eight, seven years, but I remember it really stuck with me that she was like, I really recommend just laying it out on the ground first and then just transplanting that onto the wall. And I'm like, yeah, that makes so much sense. Avoids making like unnecessary nail holes where you're like, actually, no, that doesn't look good. And then moving nails and stuff. But there's just no room in my house right now because it's so chaotic <laughs> while I'm doing the floor of that room. It, the furniture has moved everywhere else in the house. So I was like, I've just got to go do this outside. Um, so I got <laughs> uh, pieces of extra trim. I've got this broom handle that I'm going to be using to do the polyurethane on the floor. And it's approximately the right size. Imagine what the neighbors must think. Um, so I'm gonna basically do two of these. I've decided that I want to have the pictures within the two boxes instead of kind of overlapping. I think both look great. I can always um, add stuff, but I'm basically gonna map it out here. I could be wrong, but the strategy I'm gonna implement is laying it out with the frames first and then seeing if I have the art that fits into those frames. But yeah, I also brought a blanket cause I know I'm gonna wanna just sit. <laughs> I'm so tired. And uh, oh, I got some kombucha because I know how to live. Sitting down was a mistake, because now I don't want to get up. <laughs> I feel like this would be a funny thumbnail, but it's so out of context, it really makes no sense whatsoever. I feel like this is a pretty cute picnic we're having here. Art picnic. <laughs> I honestly do think maybe we could all just <laughs> stop working and start napping. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. done it again. <laughs> I present to you my gallery wall. It's perfect. <laughs> wow. You guys, this transformation has been so beautiful. This wall got so damaged when um, I took off the fake wood paneling. Let's look at a before image of this wall so that we can really talk about how much it's changed. 
it got so damaged and while I've tried to repair it, it has, it doesn't look its best. So being able to sort of embrace that and cover it sort of <laughs> with these pictures, all of which mean something to me, is so gorgeous. The wainscoting is unbelievable. <laughs> It wasn't exactly cheap, but it wasn't like shockingly out of my budget, could never afford it, could never save up for something like that. No, that is a very doable project. I so recommend because the, the it has classed this wall up so much. I can't wait to do it to the rest of this room. And I feel sort of emotional as I stand here and I look at this art. It's all, like I said before, it's all art that I've collected throughout my life, now here in one place. For some of the frames, I didn't have a perfect sized art work. So that's gonna be kind of a fun hunt going forward. I also just, I also didn't have one for him. So I'm looking for something to go there. And my final observation is how cool <laughs> this miniature living room looks now. Now that it fits in with all of these different frames, it kind of just, oh yeah, look, it's just a different frame. No, wait, it's a tiny living room. I also think this view is pretty fun. You can see the yellow pink room, but then behind it, you can see the purple door and the green door, um, which is very exciting. But then if you look over there, <laughs> you see the ugly old wood paneling. So it's, it's fun. I'm just glad I'm chronicling all of this stuff with you guys because we're seeing places get better. And um, yeah, this is, this just feels so fancy. <laughs> I'm in the midst of transforming this room. So make sure to stick around because the floors, I do something special for the floors and I can't wait to show you in my next video. And you have to see how this gallery wall works with the rest of the furniture in the room, I think. So trying to tantalize you. Thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video and also big thank you to my patrons. I don't really use social media very much anymore, so that's what I'm using Patreon for. I post images of different little house projects and I do voice memos, um, just kind of giving everyone updates. That's linked down below. And don't forget, if you want to get one of these prints, there's still a few available. So I'm done promoting stuff now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me for this project. And I can't wait. I can't wait for this room to be done. Wow. Oh, final note, final note. Do you think I should put art in here and here? Let me know in the comments because I, I think it could look cool, but I don't want it to look crazy. Please tell me your opinions. Okay.